Hey guys, how you doing? We're back at the garage and I've gotten a lot of questions on uh, how I clean these perch. Um, so I clean these perch every day for clients, but this is how I do them. It's probably not the best way, but it seems to be the fastest way for me. So what you're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna use the electric bubble, bubble blade. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the first initial cut right behind the head. Then what you want to do is you want to cut that skin line right above the backbone and follow that backbone all the way down. Just cutting through the skin. Once you're past the rib cage, which is right here, you go all the way through. All the way to the tail, but don't go through the tail. Turn around. Come up to the ribs. And what you just did there is you cut through the meat all the way down to the ribs. Then you just simply peel that meat right off the rib cage. And then a couple cuts. I like to spin it around because then you can get your blade knife following all the way down to the ribs. You leave your ribs there. And so all your ribs there and then your meat is there. You don't have to do that later. Now you have your nice handy uh, handle there where your tail was connected. And you simply take that out like you normally would. Just like that. Let's do it quickly the other side. second fillet as you can see there's not any meat left on that backbone and that's just all the rest of the rest so another thing i'll talk about too is we uh we always gill our fish when they're in the live well um I bleed them out some people call them but anyway so all we do is we just grab them by the belly here and you're just gonna cut um i just have a knife in my boat you make that one cut through that main artery to the gills and what that does is it bleeds them out gets all the blood out of the fish so when you fillet them up, the uh, the fillets are a lot more clean. They're not going to have the blood in them, and uh, they're going to be nice and clean for it. And they're also not flopping around. And, um, when you are cleaning them, they're easier to handle. Cut that belly skin there, and that's how you do that. side quick that first initial cut uh, how I grab them is I'll put my ring finger right there under that fin and then with the other two fingers I grab them right pretty securely by the head make that initial cut behind the, the hand there and then just up to the top of that back there. and then back there now you're just all you're doing is you're trying to separate that skin from the backbone cutting it down following the ribs down as you can see, we're making an initial cut through those pin bones I talked about before, uh, all the way down to the ribs. And then now I'm just simply cutting that belly skin there. Still attached. Flip it over. Just take the knife down. And you're going to put some pressure on that to get through that skin. You're never going to cut through a perch skin, so something thinner skin fish like maybe a crappie or a walleye um, you might go through if you're pushing hard enough but these perch have very tough skin um, which is why we're going to do them with a fillet knife uh, or electric fillet knife rather than just a traditional uh, fillet knife there so and that's it you can see there's very little very little waste very little meat left on it uh, and your ribs are still on the carcass which is cool you don't have to mess around with that later all right we'll do one more with the electric uh, it was just a nice 12 inch perch. I always start with the backbone to me, but once you get into a rhythm, you can, uh, you'll do it at the same time every time and it helps you not mess up. But first make that initial cut down to the backbone, turn the knife. And what you're doing in this cut is just taking that skin, the line on the skin. And once you're past the, the ribs there, you go all the way through, making sure that your blade's above those fins there. Take it to the end of the tail, turn it around now. 
go to the ribs. There's the ribs right there. You don't want to cut through the ribs. So you bring the tip of your blade up and follow that rib, the tip of the blade, follow the ribs all the way up. Now all I'm doing is I'm just peeling that meat off there. And as you can see, now we're just going to take that down just like so. Climb that. And you got your fillet and you got very little meat wasted. So now that you have that fillet, there is one more thing that you have to do on these perch from walleye and the same and crappies. There's a little line of pin bones there. Um, it's right on that say, that middle line there. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut on each side of that lateral line. And you're going to want to remove that little piece right there and there. And there's a little line of bones there. So now you have a boneless fillet. Uh, it's completely boneless. So on the ones we did before, like this one here, we're going to do the same thing. It's that red line right down the middle. Some people call it the bloodline on other fish. But we're just going to remove that as far down as the uh, where the ribs are, cutting on each side of it, making sure that you can get those those bones, that line of bones out of there. On the smaller perch, it really doesn't matter, but anything over like 10 inches, you should probably do that. Otherwise, you'll have some uh, some meat. So. We'll just do uh we'll just do this fish like I normally would. That's it and that's how you fillet the perch or at least that's how i do it so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it and uh we'll see you on the water